Hey everyone, today on the workbench, we're going to be removing the UT55A, part of the UT Advanced line of controllers, from its case. Some of the features of the UT Advanced line include up to four analog inputs, up to three analog outputs, three alarms with independent common terminals, full English prompts, and ladder logic capabilities. Let's go over to the workbench and get started. The only tool we're going to need today to remove the controller from its case is just a flat blade screwdriver. Um, for some reason, it may be necessary to remove the controller from its case, um, and you need to be able to do this in a certain fashion uh, to prevent damaging the case. As you can see on this other controller, there's a tab that we need to uh, prop up. This one's been broken. And what probably happened was somebody came by with a, their screwdriver and put too much force in and snapped that uh, tab off. To do this, it's, it's pretty simple. For this tab here, you can just use your fingernail and pop it loose from the tab. Then take your hand on either side of the bezel. Give the controller a, a slight pull on either side. Flip the controller over. We're going to be going down from the top now, directly behind the maintenance port here, and this point here are two tabs that we're going to need to release. That's where our screwdriver comes in handy. So we're going to push down on those. You'll hear a slight click, and then we should be able to remove the controller completely from the case. And as you can see, the uh, tab here is completely intact, no cracks, no, uh, no bows on that, so that's going to hold the controller in its case and keep uh, foreign material from getting inside. The, um, to put it back in the case is basically the reverse of what we just did, so we're going to slide the internals back in the case, make sure we don't have, we don't get too much of resistance as we're pushing in. Turn the controller and give it a slight push. What we're going to do next is on either side of the controller display, we're going to push up and down at the corner of the display, we're going to push up as well. You'll hear another click. That's these tabs re-engaging. Then the last step is to re-engage this tab on the bottom. So give that a push and you should have very little gap between here. The spec is, I believe, 0.6 millimeters, so it looks like we're good there. We can go all the way around the controller and make sure that it's seated properly. And now you can put that controller back in service. For more information on this controller or any other Yokogawa product, please visit yokogawa.com. Thanks for listening.